<laughs> well done, fish. Look at that. I left it sitting there and then he went and grabbed it. More of these fish when we come back to Fish TV. That way. Bye bye, baby. Go see you alone. Oh. There's all kinds of fish. <laughs> now look at this. Look at this. He ever eating that fish. Toyota Truck presents Fish TV in high definition. Brought to you in part by Mercury, number one on the water. And Rapala, crafted from experience. With your hosts, Leo Stackos and Ron James. That's a 10 pounder. Leo, he come up, I watched him roll on that, and then he missed it. I, I let it sit there, and he still took it. That's a cow. No, it's not that I'm big. telling you, that's a cow. I seen it. Oh, oh it's a monster. <laughs> I, I told you. Did you see him porpoise over it twice? Oh, whoa, look at this. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. <laughs> that's a 7, 8 pounder. Oh, look at, that. look at this guy. I gotta belly that fish. He's got that chug bone right side. I'll tell you what, man. This is the way to start off the morning right here, guys. Whoa. A nice eight pounder. Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stockos. <laughs> I'm Ron James, a busy guy right here. And I'll tell you what, you we're back here in Lake Mateos, and you really gotta get here and check out these bass. Look at the size <laughs> of this thing, bud. Okay, grab him. Grab him hard. Grab him hard. Hold on, let you. Grab him hard, bud. Grab him hard. He's moving. I got him. You got him? Look at the yap on him. What is that? <laughs> Look at the size of the mouth here, guys. Look at that. Now that's what you come to Lake Mateos for. That is a monster, monster bass right here. Oh, yeah. And what a way to start the day, Ron. Unbelievable. Here we go, bud. See? Turn it this way. 8.02, bud. What a way to start the morning. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me get a shot of that. That is a beautiful fish right there, guys. Let's get a picture. All right. Guys, stick around. There's more Lake Mateos box action where that came from. Quick picture, and that fish is going right back oh, in the water. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There he goes, bud. Hold him for a sec. There, look at that. That's the way to start her off right wow. there. What? I don't believe that you caught that fish. I can't believe it was our first right fish. Right away. Yeah, no, I know. That's sick. That might be a, ba a bad thing, though. You know what? I, I, I was going to say that. Opening up with almost a 10-pounder. When you go into a tournament or something like that and you get your first fish on your first cast, yeah. you never get another one the rest of the day. Hope that's not the case. I switched to a buzz bait, which is probably stupid since I just caught a, almost a 10-pounder on a, on a chug bug. Well, I'm going to stay with the chug bug. You can always go down through this area and work it fast and then turn around and work it back. Oh, he got off. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> what are you doing? What? This is a pretty good fish. Seriously? Look at him. Look at the size of him, buddy. He's, he's inhaled it. He's inhaled it. Oh, look at the size of him. It's okay, it's okay. The only thing I'm looking at right now is the uh, my chug bug. See if I can get another one. Oh, look at look at how far he's got the chug bug down. You think he wanted that? Let me have you. Hey. I do you look at the size of that, bud? You think he wanted that chug bug? Look at this. Oh. Well, you know what? You actually did it properly. You actually you waited. Yeah. I think you kind of caught you off guard, which is a good thing. Well, that was a five pounder right there. Oh, I can't believe how much that fish wanted to run. And there she goes, buddy. Now it's my turn. Get out of the way. Look at that sun just coming over the mountains, bud. You know what? It doesn't get any better than this, but I'll tell you what. Any chance I get to come to Lake Mateos, mm -hmm. I'm all over it. Well, you know what floors me? The water is down about what? What would you say? 50 feet? Completely different lake. From the last time we were here, every time we come here, it's a new lake. You know what floors me, though? All the structure that we drive over that we didn't even know was existed here. Oh. Well, look at the tree line. 
Look at the tree line up there ahead of you. Yeah. That's where the water level used to be. Well, the good thing is, when the water level's low like this, it usually concentrates the bass in one area. It might take us a while to find them, but once we find them, we should be uh, having a heyday. That's what I think, anyway. Or a fish day. Or a fish day, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. He came up, but you know what? He didn't hit it hard, Ron. No. Didn't hit it hard at all. Nice start, though. Oh, look at, look at this guy fighting. Come on, buddy, wake up. Different breed, bud. Different breed. Look at this. Nice. Just came up and just mouthed it. Not bad? Yeah. All right. Now, feel how warm that fish is, Ron. Oh, yeah. The water is like 90 degrees. Yeah, he wasn't coming off. Well, he's done good. Done good, I did it. Beautiful. Back in the water you go. before it, right here. Got him. You got him. I told you, buddy. Right on that bush. Nice fish too, bud. I told you, buddy. You know what? I saw that bush move. That's why I said beyond that bush. Uh, look, I got him hooked on the mouth and then on the all, side. All over it, Ron. He doesn't even know he's hooked. I thought he was bigger than that. Still a nice fish, so. This little fish. Got him on the side, too. I saw the bush twitch, Ron. I said to our camera guy, beyond that bush, there's a fish there. Oh yeah, not bad little fish, eh, Leo? Beautiful. They're, they're eating. Aggressive, that's for sure. He's eating. Look at that, nice. Yeah, but you know what? I gotta tell you something, guys. This, this, and this is something that's really important. We're out here in Mexico having fun, but one thing you, you wanna make sure you do before you leave is to protect your family back home and yourself when you get back there. Make sure you have a proper CEO alarm. I, I can tell you right now, yes. that, that, that is key, especially coming into wintertime. Absolutely. You know what? Kita makes a, a, a great model of CEO alarm that will protect your family, especially now, that, like I said, with wintertime, there people are turning their heat on. And don't forget, bud, it's important to have one of those on every level of Absolutely. your house. You know what? You never know where it's going to come out. Play safe, guys. Absolutely. The uh, braided line, make sure you got soft tip or your drag set nice. Because if they want to make that run, let them run. The uh, X-Walk calls in big fish. We've used this uh, on pike in Saskatchewan. We've used it on bass, smallmouth, largemouth. You really need something to convince these fish to come and eat. And I think, that, I think this makes them mad. That's what I think. Some people wouldn't throw top water at this time of the day. Uh -huh. According to our guide, we shouldn't be. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got one? Oh, yeah, buddy. Right off that point, you just came up and walloped it. Right after you put the big chug down. Look at, he doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Oh, yeah. He was right up against that point, Ron. Oh. Look at that. He just pounded that, buddy. Plop that off. See that right there? That is a X walk, killing the bass. Get that guy back in the water, go back and catch myself another one. Oh, nice fish. Big fish. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. He can't even jump, he's so fat. Nice. Oh, look how long he is. Oh, that's a nice fish, bud. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. <laughs> All right. Gracias, Chileo. The best guy in Mexico, Chileo. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that's a horse, buddy. How is that for a Lake Mateos oh. bass right there? Oh. That's what you come here for, guys. You got to get out here, Lake Mateos, Aztec Lake Lodge. Mm -hmm. Fish like this, top water action, like you've never seen before in your life. Weather, even better. Beauty fish. See you later. Oh yeah. You know the fishing's fantastic here, but what I really like is coming back from lunch. You know, listen to the guys talk about their fish stories. Well, that's the funny thing. Here, it's not actually fish stories. They're actually they're actually catching fish. Well, yeah, they are catching fish and they're catching big fish. Every guy, we woke up, how many were there, 14? Yeah. Every guy is pretty well got his biggest fish. They've ever, their biggest bass, anyway. Including us. In fact, our cameraman, Nick, actually got a chance to interview some of these guys, including ourselves. 
Check out some of the fish stories that these guys have. You know what? We, uh, we had an amazing day uh, to begin with, and my partner caught a, an eight pounder, and uh, we caught it on uh, spinner bait. We caught a lot of two, threes, fours, and then this uh, six pounder just slammed my spinner bait. And, you know, these Mexican bass are, uh, you know, pretty tough and angry, and uh, it's the biggest bass I've caught here. I'm definitely coming back to, to catch my double digits. Our best day of the trip so far was this morning. Uh, we were working chug bugs and senkos. Uh, my best uh, fish of the trip so far has been close to seven pounds. We're looking forward to topping that night when we get out there. My biggest fish I got here was uh, eight and a half pounds. I was throwing a spinner bait over treetops and this thing just killed the spinner bait. And then when they come up and you look at a fish that size and uh, hold that in your hand and see those eyeballs that are so big on them, it's just uh, quite an experience. That morning was just fantastic. We probably caught 30 fish and a bunch of sixes and sevens, and, and then I got that eight, and it was just fantastic. When I got my biggest fish, which was just over 10 pounds, I mean, that's a big bass, but there's bigger ones in here, I'll tell you. What was happening was we were, in, we were starting to fish the shoreline, and we were getting a few fish, and then kind of looked out, and Leo goes, that, that bass busting out there, and I said, I don't think so. I think it's tilapia, you know, because you see the tilapia busting all over the place. He goes, buddy, I seen a bass out there. I said, you know what? We're talking 80 feet of water. Yeah, and you didn't want to go out there. And I said, let's just get out there and give it a shot. Yeah, and I put my uh, trolling motor on high, and I was getting a little bit irritated with him, but I, I did it anyways, and I had my, uh, my storm uh, swim bait on there, and I made a cast. Wham. First cast. And pounder. First cast. And we, that day was an unbelievable day. That was my biggest ever. You know what, there, there, there is some really cool fish stories, but nobody has topped mine yet. Speaking of swim baits, you know, we, we started working some points and deeper drop-offs, and at the end of the day, I ended up going to a spot that had an underwater finger. I casted out my swim bait, reeling it in slowly, and my arms almost got ripped off. You remember that fish? I will never... 12 uh, pounds, two ounces, nobody's topped yet. I will never yet. forget that fish. I lipped that fish, and it literally <laughs> took both of my hands to grab the fish, and at first I thought, what is that? I thought it was a carp. And we got this big splash. And, and I, was, I was mesmerized. I'd never seen a, a boil that big in a long time. I knew it was a big fish. And I fought it for about two minutes. It was just dogging and dogging the rod. It was phenomenal. It ended up weighing in six and a half pounds. That was probably the biggest bass I've caught. He weighed in at just over eight pounds. Boom, I get this big uh, squirrel coming behind my lure and basically this just sucked this whole floor right down and went right down into the uh, floor. The thing went down three times and by the time it came back up, it was fighting that rod like you wouldn't believe. So it took me almost five minutes to bring this thing in. It was just over eight pounds. It's gotta be the biggest fish, biggest bass I've caught in my life. It was phenomenal. <laughs> small, small bud, small. How was it? Yeah, lunch. Are you sure, Ron? Not, uh, no, I'm actually not. <laughs> Are you sure? No, small, heavy? yeah. Look at it. What? But it looked like a little boil. Did it really? Yeah, I'm telling you. I thought it would have been. Oh, it's a nice fish, man. It's a nice fish, man. <laughs> what is going on? Every time I turn my head, Ron, he porpoised over top of it. You're on fire, eh? What happened? You just all of a sudden turn on or what? I don't know. What's going on? You put on that X walk and that was it. That's it. I'm going to let them in the boat here because he, he porpoised oh, over careful. top of it. Careful. One careful. second here, Nikki. Watch that doesn't pop there out. There you go. Porpoise right over top the bait. He's eating, man. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? He's on that point. You really want to concentrate on point, especially when that sun's going down. Yeah. I trip. I looked down for one second, and boom, there he was. Isn't that beautiful? This chunk rock seems to be holding these fish, along with some wood that's involved here. But there's some shorelines that are real shallow, shallow. We're finding these fish on chunk rocks and wood. So, good job, buddy. Yeah. All right. Back to it again. Woo. Oh. What a beauty! Look how long that fish is! I know what I was doing. I just sat down for a second. Reel on it in. He hit way out here. Look how long that fish is! Oh, nice. That is crazy. Dude, I can't believe you went and sat down just as you sat your butt on the chair. I know. <laughs> I was getting a little tired. I thought I'd just have a little seat. Just for that. And there he goes. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm not sitting down now, forget it. Maybe you should. I know, you know what? You know what, try it right now. Put, sit your butt down for one second, see what Wouldn't happens. Wouldn't you just 
What did you just learn? You were just about to say, wouldn't you just poo poo? What didn't you? No, no. You were. Oh, you were gonna say that. He was gonna say that. I heard him. We're at Lake Mateos here in Mexico, and it, it's a fantastic scenery. Uh, I recommend it for anybody to come out and have a look, especially if you love the bass fishing. We were fishing in timber that was about 10 feet of water, but from the point where I was casting, it was about 30 feet. And the fish was digging deeper and deeper. It was a 10 plus pounder. That really made my day. Hey folks, it's November 2011. We're back here at Lake Mateos. I tell you, we are having a blast. We've got a whole pile of guys here and we are having a fantastic time. The big bass are biting and I'll tell you what, my favorite bait last year was a buzz bait, but this year I got onto something new. It's called a Rapala X Walk. And let me tell you, the fish are crashing it and smashing it and it's amazing. My biggest fish so far is about eight and a half pounds and it doesn't get any better than Lake Mateos. It's time for Motor Guide Tackle Box. Okay guys, before we get back to the action, I had to ask some questions to see what was going on and see if other guys have caught some fish on different baits. I'll tell you, it's very important to pack your baits correctly when you're going away. You need to know what you're going to use and you got to have all sorts of baits to cover the different bodies, the way the water level fluctuates and the way the fish are biting. Now, Danny, I know you've caught a lot of fish. What are you catching them on, bud? Well, Ronnie, I, I got a, a few on the top water, like I, like we were mentioning earlier. Yeah. But my bigger fish come on this Trigger X five-inch uh, flutter stick, and uh, we rig it up on a, on a quarter-ounce slip weight yep. uh, with a four-aught gammy. Yeah. Uh, on the combo ship combo. You like, you like using the big cast, right? Oh, eh? I love it. I yep. absolutely love it. It, it. We've got a heavy action rod here on the suffix, uh, 40, 40 pound suffix braid and uh, we just crank them in and, and, and what an excitement it is when you when you hook into a, an eight pound or an eight plus. It's, <laughs> it's just a blast. I'll tell you what, these guys are catching them on a variety of lures but Leo and I are catching them on totally different lures and it's unbelievable. The chug bug, this is what I call the super chug. It's a little bit bigger than the normal chug bug that you buy. You can work it really slow so it spurts and it moves dog to dog action. Got a lot of big fish on this. We've also caught a lot of big fish on the swim bait. Did a show down here a couple years ago on these. You can't come down here without a swim bait. But Leo has been kicking them on the x wrap walk. And we've done a show in Saskatchewan that you're gonna see up here. You've obviously seen it before. They catch pike, they catch big bass, they catch all kinds of fish. The key is, is to bring a variety of lures when you're going away down in Mexico or Florida, wherever you go, but specifically Mexico, bring a variety of raffle of baits and you're going to catch a whack of fish like we are right now. Let's get back to that fantastic fish TV action. Portions of Fish TV are sponsored in part by Toyota Truck, Never Quit, and Coffee Time, where coffee time is any time. Nice. Oh, he hit nice, man. Oh, look at the size of him. That's a big one there. <laughs> big one there, bud. Look at the size of him. I'm going to help you with this guy, buddy. Holy mackerel. Oh, look how fat he is. Yeah, he's a good one. <laughs> this one's been eaten. Oh. And you were complaining, you're going, oh, nice cast. I know. Nice cast. Oh, yeah, see, now look at the difference now. That one's fatter, it's meatier. Uh, get him, he's ready. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Woo. I've been casting right off the rocks. This time, Leo says, oh, I'll throw it way on the outside. So I said, okay, I'll take the point. I go to take the point, my, the wind catches my lure, goes up beside his, and that's what the result is right there. Well, he wasn't coming off, I'll tell you that one. That's a nice looking fish right there, man. What do you think, eh? Well, that's at least a four, maybe five. Nice, buddy. Nice. Look at how healthy that one is. You know what I look at? Look at me casting again, because I want another fish. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. Yeah, you do that while I catch another one. All right. I'm Look stepping up here and getting myself a big one. He just pounded at it, didn't he, Ron? Oh. 
Maybe you should make bad cash more often. Oh, that's Oh, look at look at He's still there. He's still there. Look. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. <laughs> look at the size of him. He's a horse. One little hook. Look at I don't. Oh. Oh. Look at this fish. Look at this. I don't want to horse him in. Look at the size of him. Cow. Oh, he's a 10 pounder. Look at this. No. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of it. Oh, my gosh. You know, we gotta get the net on this one. See, this one here, look at the size of it, bud. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at the size of it. Oh, buddy, look at this fish. Nice job, Chilio. Thanks for netting it, buddy. Whoa, gosh. nice fish. That is a long, long fish. That's a big fish, man. <laughs> look at the tail, eh? Yeah. Looks like they're just starting to make veg with it. I gotta tell you guys, top water action here on Mateos. You gotta come out here and experience it for yourself here, guys. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. I was reeling that thing back. It exploded on it once. I let it sit there, and boom. What do you think, Ronnie? I think we should uh, let it go. Another fantastic day in the water here, Mateos. Buddy. Guys, we're gonna get this baby back in the water. Until next week, I'm Leo Stock. I'm Rod Dave. We'll see you next time on Lake Mateos. There she goes. Wait. See you later, baby. Watch this. Watch her take off. Watch it take off. Look at it. There we go. She's gonna go. She's gonna go. Just watch it. I'll show you. There she trip. goes. Watch this. Watch this. It's awesome. Time to go back and relax. Talk fish stories. Another big one, eh? Yeah. What a guy. What a guy. Portions of Fish TV are brought to you in part by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience, and Robin's Donuts, fresh, fast, and friendly.